Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And today, we're getting into yet another of my friend Nino's cars. And this one's completely different for, for what we typically do. You know, usually we're leaning on modded cars, right? But here's the trip about this car. What you're looking at is a 39 Ford. And I gotta be honest, man, I'm, this, is, this is way earlier than my era of car. So I had to call my dad and ask a bunch of questions and read a bunch of articles on this car because there's a ton of information on this one. This car was on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine in 1948. It went through a radical transformation in 1946. So technically, this is actually a very radically modified car Although to a guy like me that's not super trained on these, it looks like a slightly changed 39 Ford. Anyways, we are definitely getting into the details on it because it's got some cool ones. Once again up front, I say thanks to my buddy Nino for bringing over another one of his amazing cars. And we're about to get into it. So hold on, because here we go, man. Here we go for a cruise in Nino's just incredibly beautiful 39 Ford. And I'll tell you up front, this car I didn't even ask the dollar amount on. You guys know I'm always interested in that. Nino bought this car as is, has done nothing but replace the tires and the shocks on here. Otherwise, he just drives it and enjoys it. So. What is this besides starting with a 39 Ford? This car actually has a pretty amazing history to, to tell you the truth. And it's got a twin out there somewhere or close to a twin. So two custom car builders back in the day in the forties here in LA, they both bought 39 Fords and then they went to work on them, man, did the, that, that era of hot rod. This car underwent some pretty radical surgery in 1946. So good that it actually, this car ended up on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine in September of 1948, which is pretty damn cool. So let's get into some of the stuff done on this car because it's pretty amazing, especially when you think how far back the work dates. So Jerry Moffat channeled six inches out of this car six inches out of the center of the car came out of this thing that's pretty massive the hood was sectioned to dr get it to sit down lower obviously the the center of it's been sharpened like crazy that brakes work quite well don't they a little bit of shooting going on over here welcome to la we're always making movies and tv shows here man and there's a bunch of other stuff done along with it the car was made into a convertible it started life as a coupe this is a lift-off removable convertible top. Kind of thought it was cool to keep the top up today, but I'll definitely show you guys some pictures of what this thing looks like as a convertible. Now, originally this car was green. I'll get to when it turned into this stunning candy color. That's later on in the story. So it was, you know, Ford flathead motor. So back then it had Fenton headers, Smitty 22 inch mufflers. That was about it as far as the those modifications went. You know, it was more definitely about the look of this car, the channeling, sectioning. The bumpers you see on here come off of a 36, 37 DeSoto. Same with the skirts you see on the on the rear quarters here, the rear fenders. Those skirts are off of a DeSoto as well. The car was featured in 1948 on Hot Rod Magazine, and then it kind of disappeared. Now there was a guy, Frank Weeks, that saw this car being built back then, he loved the car. After it disappeared, he located the car in a classified ad in 1969, went out, saw it, sure enough, it was the car, and he bought it for 500 bucks. It was in total disrepair, although it was running, he bought it for $500 and drove the car home. So that was in 1969. Then the car sat until 1992. 
sat in his garage for that many years. In 1992, he decided to undergo a full restoration of the car. That's when, and none of, none of the body mods were touched. All that stuff stayed exactly as it is, as you see here. What was changed was the color. It went from the green to this just stunning, beautiful candy red. And think about it, you guys. This paint was done, as you see it here, somewhere between 92 and 97 when the full restoration was done on the car. The car looks stunning. You'll see some blemishes. The, the previous two owners drove this car. And Nino drives this car. When Frank did the restoration on this car in the mid-90s, he swapped a couple things out. He had a flathead that he had done back in somewhere in the mid 60s so he pulled the flathead that was in this car and he went to the one that he had that had a a four inch stroke mercury crank in it that got an edelbrock intake on it uh holly carb single carburetor on it edelbrock head seven and a half to one Harmon collins cam and distributor kept the fenton headers the Smitty mufflers, that's all made into a Ford nine inch in the rear end. Uh, it's a C4 transmission in here. Nice little simple three speed. The Ford nine inch has 325 gears. At the same time, he also did upgra upgrade to the brakes. Went to Magnum brakes up front, Magnum discs up front. The rear stayed drums. It also got a bell axle with a four inch drop to it. And that's your mods on here. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's funny. We think of hot rods nowadays, obviously being massive horsepower. I, I don't even, truth be told, I don't even know what the horsepower is on this car. I got to guess in the, <laughs> what, low 200s? You guys tell me. There's no dyno on this. This is a car that has a history that, you know, like I started here, it dates back to it's a 39 Ford, undergoes massive surgery in 1946, lost for years, found in 69, restoration in 92, from 92 to 97, including the upgrades, swapping the motor, giving it front disc brakes, dropping the rear end four inches. You know, some pretty substantial changes to this car. The windshield was cut down three inches to get us this low, you know, chop top look. The gauges were changed in the mid 90s too. He went to, to keep the similar look, but at the same time, give it an updated gauge. So it's all VDO gauges in here that I think are just beautiful. I love, I mean, the color, the color combo on this gauge cluster is just spectacular the black with the gold, the cream color sitting against this candy red. I mean, this paint alone is, is, is worth the time to just look at this car and keep looking. You'll see on the front end, it's peppered. This car gets driven, which I absolutely love. No, it's not a daily driver, but tell you what, it drives exceptionally well. You know, you come in here in the interior, everything in here other than the gauges is pretty much as it was back in the 40s. Obviously, it's got a stereo that was added in, a JVC. Boy, this thing drives just, I mean, just beautifully. I love that there's not some big round speaker sitting on the door. They put them here behind this grill above the gauges. Gotta admit, I don't know if this is original to the car or not, but I love these little ashtray doors because, you know, Camels were cool back in the day, I do believe. I love like the little detail points of the end of the shifter, the, the different ball points on here. Just such beautiful accent pieces. I mean, this is, you know, Nino's got some cool ones. I gotta say, I think this is probably the prettiest of his cars. This is, this car is just really a beautiful, beautiful car. So what do you guys think? Pretty badass, right? How about this 39 Ford, man? I mean, 
I love, for one, obviously, the color on this thing is just mind-boggling. But the story behind this car is so cool. I mean, think about it, you guys. This car has been from 39 all the way through. It's got history to it, even though it disappeared for a while and it got brought back to life and it drives amazingly well. I just, I'm totally blown away right now. I can't believe I just got to drive this car. Another big thanks to you, Nino, man. I'd so appreciate you letting me drive your cars like you do, brother. It's so cool. And I know you guys are enjoying seeing these things. So anyways, that's it for today's episode, man. Gotta say thanks for hanging and watching the channel as you guys always do. And I don't know what else to say. I'm blown away right now and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.